Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you had a good night's rest. I'm going to read to you from the book of Romans in chapter 8 today. Chapter 8 of the book of Romans. We'll just pick up so then about uh, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. That's just basically saying if we are sinners, we cannot be pleasing to God. We cannot serve him. We don't have the mind of Christ. We don't think like him. It is the born-again experience that even gives the Christian a remote chance of serving the Lord and giving back to him the praise that is due him. We're not capable of doing that in the flesh. We're not capable of doing that in the fallen state that we are in until we come to the Lord and he forgives us of our sin. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so, be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the Spirit that dwelleth in you. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh to live after the flesh. For if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the Spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. <laughs> it's, people think that we can live any kind of a way we want to, and God still hears our prayers and answers our prayers and that could not be further from the truth. We either are or we are not. Uh, you either are forgiven, you either are a follower of Jesus Christ, or you are not. There's not halfway. There's not I live any kind of way I want to, and then um, I think that God's going to hear and answer every prayer I throw up. Uh, it doesn't work that way. He paid a debt for us. He did not even owe the debt that he paid for us, but he paid a debt to set us free. And that debt was on the cross. And we are the ones that need forgiven. We are the ones that need a savior. So today we need to thank him for what he's done for us. This song says he paid a debt he did not owe. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay I needed someone to wash my sins away And now I sing a brand new song Amazing Grace My Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay my dead he paid upon the cross He cleansed my soul from all its dross I thought that no one Could all my sins erase But now I sing a brand new song Amazing grace Jesus paid debt that I could never pay. He paid a debt he did not owe. I owed a debt I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. And now I sing a brand new song Amazing grace, my Jesus.
Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. My Jesus paid a debt that I could never pay. Lord, I thank you for paying the sin debt for us, something that we could not do. We could not do enough good deeds. And I know it's difficult for people to grasp it, but the scripture says, a wayfaring man, though he were a fool, need not err therein. So when the Spirit of God reveals to us that yes, we need to be saved, and yes, he is the one that can save us. God, I pray that you would bless all those that hear today. Encourage them, give them help and strength to believe with all their heart today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Saturday.